Okay, I guess it's recording. Anyway, this is about a bulletproof Faraday bag, bag, pouch, can, whatever. Anyway, bear with me. I'm so old, I remember when the Dead Sea was just sick. I see a lot of people that are taking ammo cans, they're pulling the rubber out, and then they're sanding in between here, and then they use, they, we, it, I've tried it to put aluminum foil in here to make a seal when they put it back on the top of their can. All right, so if, if you have done that, empty one of your cans, put about that much water in it, where are we, about this much water in it, and uh, tip it upside down and see what happens. Water is going to pour out of it. You do not have a Faraday cage. You've, you've got a, a leaky, uh, go ahead and kill my electronics cage. So my opinion and what I've learned over the years, and I've tested it every which way I can, I do not have sophisticated equipment, but I do have a brain. So this is what I do, and I hope that you didn't throw your rubbers out, people that did this. Take your ammo can, check it for any cracks or anything. That's very important, of course. This is a cheap ammo can from Tractor Supply, I think it was, or Wally World. And I've checked it out. There's no cracks. It's all, all nice and uh, solid on the bottom. Line it with cardboard or whatever you choose, all four sides, and don't forget the top. And then take sandpaper, and if you want to be tough, I use one of these, and it takes me about 15 seconds to sand all the way around the top of this thing. And it's nice, shiny metal. And uh, if you check the continuity on this sucker, you'll find that you're going to get a little scream out of this and that it has continuity. It's got a point zero zero zero. So this thing is uh, all the way around the top. It has continuity, which means that it has a, a path all the way around the top that is unbro unbroken. So what I do with this thing then, after it's lined up, you've got your, your top is sanded to shiny metal. Don't go too crazy with this because you can divot it a little bit more. Just go lightly all the way around the top till you get the metal. Leave your rubber in. Don't throw away your rubbers. What you might have to do, depending on the can you've got, is take a pipe wrench and bend these ears a little bit to the side and you'll see why in a couple minutes here I'm gonna make this as fast as possible I don't do YouTube videos but I want people with today's problems with all the crap that's going on anyway okay here we go so most people are smart you can figure this out for yourself after seeing this but aluminum foil does not work man it does not work. Watch this thing fall, right? Okay. So then what you do, and I pre-shifted pre a couple of them, is aluminum foil. And I did study this quite a bit. Stay. Sure, you had to do that, didn't you? I guess you can see it anyway. Definitely. Put it back as far as you can. Use your fingers. Of course, I kind of destroyed this one just then, but it will still work. It's a very forgiving process, which is really nice. Yeah, I blew it. So stand by. Let's get another piece of foil. All right. So center it up however you want. Take your fingers lightly and make a crease. Okay, this does not have to be absolutely perfect. But you want to give it room to expand a little bit when you close this thing. And then flip these all over, get them out of the way. And of course, out of the way of your latch also. Now, I have used up to five sheets of heavy duty aluminum foil to do this. See, I'm going to do it again. 
this is fast super easy and you will have a bulletproof seal and I do mean bulletproof no pun intended really but there we go you can probably be a little more careful with this but I'm just doing it to show you how I do it in my opinion this is the best way to go so there we've got it molded in a little bit and here we go push it down we latch it and we wait a, a couple of seconds and there a couple of seconds now what we're going to do is we're going to look at this and as you can see I hope all the way around the top of this you have a perfect seal and I do mean perfect there is no nothing that's going to get in there EMP solar flare you know depending on how anal you are like me I use about five sheets check it after you do it to make sure there's no rips in it of course but uh, that's pretty pretty much it so let's check it for continuity put it down. We latch it up we put the continuity tester on it we test it on the foil on both sides positive and negative and we've got a point zero 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 and because I'm deaf I can't hear the sound but I know what the digits mean so there you have pretty much a absolutely perfect Faraday cage super super fast not going to leak and all your stuff that's inside there is going to be super sealed because of your rubber pushes down on this aluminum foil and makes a flat just it's perfect anyway I'm just trying to help out and uh, make things fast and easy for people that sanding thing up here with the aluminum foil stuffed in there for a gasket I'm really sorry but from my test it doesn't work and uh, so anyway there you have it talk to you later whatever bye